But from the way Harry Eternal says I can see more just a lawyer, I would be a great lawyer. Okay, I would be a great lawyer. I did mock trial in college. I was phenomenal. An attorney awards at Yale almost never dropped a rank. LSAT at a 173. I would have been a fucking great lawyer. Instead, I'm doing this, talking about this series, and people are photoshopping my face onto that unemployed guy's face, and it gets like 10K likes and retweets, and people are like, Raid didn't fail, LBO, and I'm like, this is my life now. Aztec Device says, everyone boo Morch for having supported parents. <laughs> What is this now? Why, why am I being called George? You guys get so bored, but so uncreative. Aztec Device says, do your rents now, do your rents know what you do and how disappointed are they? I don't know why you chose to write this chat in like, it seemed like you were trying to use as few letters as possible. Like you were sending a fucking telegram in like the 1970s or some shit and they were charging you per letter. But... Yeah, my parents know what I do, and no, they're not disappointed. They think it's pretty cool at this point. Oh, Rujandru XX is more super chats have text limits, LMAO. See, now you know. Now you know. Sam Ogunto Yinbo. Sorry if I mispronounced the name. Actually, I think I nailed that really, really well. Hold on. Props to me. Sam Ogunto Yin. I fucked it up the second time. Sam Ogunto. Adrian Akeen says three of your theories are allowed to come true, but you have to sleep with speed. Are you doing it? And if so, which would they be? Okay, three of my theories are allowed to come true, but then I get to sleep with speed. Is that what you said? Is that what you said? <laughs> Uh, I would just take off the raid failing Kaido related ones, Kaido getting awakening. Mr. Crescent says, I feel like everyone was just excited to see Luffy beat Kaido and that the Strahds and the Alliance deserve the W after all they've went through. What did they go through? What did the Strahds go through this arc? What? <laughs> I can read Act 1 and Act 2 straight if you combine all of the Strahd scenes from Act 1 and Act 2. They don't do anything. They don't go through anything. I would love to see the Strahds get a big W. After they go through some shit. Again, any slobby, great example. Alabasta, another example. Fucking Skypea. Like, there are examples where the Strahds have difficult experiences and go through something, and then they get their big Ws. I think those are great arcs. I, I, don't, I don't know what to say here. What am I supposed to say? Like, <laughs> I don't personally enjoy um, seeing arcs where the Strahds don't go through anything, really. They treat it mainly as like, yeah, we're here. We're just going to wrap shit up pretty much. They walk in literally planning a party. That is factually what they're doing at the start of the Onigashima raid. They're planning their victory party. They come in all smiles, all happy. And then they win. Wow. Amazing. Sheriff Lafitte says, what do you think the plan was for Drake and Apu? There was no plan. What do you mean, what do I think the plan was? There was no plan. We saw it. The writing for them feels so stilted and weird, and it sucks because I thought Drake was cool. We all thought Drake was cool. We all thought Drake was cool. Turns out he's just a dude. He didn't need to be there at all. Drake, Hawkins, and Apu literally didn't need to exist whatsoever. You know, Oda said, he said that he made up the supernovas out of the blue because his editors told him to. I didn't fully believe him because sometimes Oda just says shit to say shit. But I'm going to believe him on that one. He definitely did not have a plan for the supernovas. And what's frustrating, here's the thing. You guys remember Capone Beige, right? How can you forget? Capone Beige was probably out of all of the supernovas. Think about this. All of the supernovas initially introduced at Sabote. Capone Beige, I think, had the least fan interest. It just seemed a little generic. His ability was, like, interesting, but it didn't seem that strong. Um, he kind of seemed like just, you know, a mafia-type ripoff character. And it was like, he, he didn't... There was nothing, not particularly high bounty, not particularly high... Um, number of mentions throughout the story, you know, name drops and things like that. So it wasn't a big deal. But then we get to Whole Cake Island and Oda just writes Capone Beige brilliantly into that arc. I think the way he involved and used Capone Beige over the course of that arc and the flavor that Capone Beige brought was a great, 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 great aspect of Whole Cake Island. Um, and Oda used him like phenomenally. Like one of 11 random side characters that Oda had to make up on the spot like years ago or whatever. Fit blended beautifully into Whole Cake Island. He even kicked off Whole Cake Island with getting Sanji and pulling him there. Oda weirdly set the bar too high with Capone Beige. Because from my perspective, it was like, Oda was able to do that with that guy. Man, what's he going to do with Hawkins? What's he going to do with X-Drake? But it turns out, if you stacked up all of their story time together, Hawkins, Apu, X-Drake, etc., it doesn't actually even scratch what Capone Beige had in total in Whole Cake Island, which is kind of wild. Law I never used as, like, the metric, because Law and Kid from the start, it was clear that 
those two are going to be major in some way. It was the rest of the supernova that fall into their own category that I was kind of um, wondering how it was going to incorporate. And Aliato5 says, Mr. Mank, thanks. What had a better resolution, Onigashima or Morja's shoulder? My shoulder. My shoulder ended well. My shoulder is at like 90, 95%. I'm worried that it's not going to hit 100%. Because I'm 26. I worry sometimes that like little injuries that I get nowadays, what if I just never recover from those? As you get older, you stop recovering from shit. A bearded lizard says, another day of wondering if Morge's shoulder is okay because he has never mentioned it and silences everyone who does. Oh, I'll teach you to talk about my shoulder. Can I... Almost oof part two, damn. <laughs> Brandon King says, even if you kill oof, his will will live on. When does a user die? It's when they're forgotten. Guys, forget about Oof. Let's stop talking about him. Let him die. Let the man rest in peace. Enough of this. All right. Yeah, it's time. It's Morgan time. Christian McCurdy says, because the entire chat asked for it, hashtag Flame Emperor Oof. What's going on? No, we're not turning Oof into some sort of a heroic martyr. Oof is not the Sabo of this stream. That would make me a Kainu or Im or something like that. No. Can someone unban him? It was a joke. How do I unban him? Unhide user. All right, you're welcome. The Morge two, three years ago would have banned that person and uh, never been able to bring them back. The Morge today can vanish someone and reappear them like it's nothing. You know how easy that was for me? I think at this point I'm perfect as a streamer. There's no no area where I need to further improve on. Sam Oguntu I fucked it up the second time. Sam Oguntu 